Hi, I'm Peter Aguero and I'm a physical therapist. I specialize in movements designed to improve joint health in hemophilia patients. This video is for hip flexibility. My patients notice that doing these movements consistently can help loosen up those stiff muscles and hip joint. As always, talk to your healthcare team before starting any physical activity. These videos are not intended for individuals who are experiencing an active bleed. You should always consult your healthcare team before starting any physical activity or resuming physical activity after a bleed. First up, piriformis stretch. All right, everyone, we have the piriformis stretch. This is a great exercise to do while you're at work, sitting in a chair, been typing for a few hours. All you gotta do, bring your leg up onto your other knee, get into that tailor sitting position, get your hands underneath your knee and bring it to your opposite shoulder. Give a nice gentle pull. You'll feel a nice pull stretch in through your buttock muscle, kind of the outer part of your hip. We'll hold that position for five to 10 seconds and then relax and switch to the other side. Bring your other leg up onto your knee. Use your hands to help pull your knee in the opposite shoulder and then relax back down. Okay, we have the modified version of the piriformis stretch. You're gonna start laying on your back. You're gonna have one knee coming up to your chest. Other knee is gonna come up and catch that foot, kind of like in that tailor sitting position in the normal piriformis stretch. Then you're gonna grab, bring your hand through your legs, grab the thigh and pull up towards your chest and you'll feel a nice stretch in through this hip here, hold that position five to 10 seconds and relax. You just go as far as you feel comfortable with this stretch too. Make sure to switch. You're gonna bring your opposite foot onto your knee, bring your knee up, grab the back part of your thigh with your hands and use your hands to pull your knee up towards your chest. This is a great, great, great exercise, especially after a long walk or hike. Hold that position and lower back down. Now, if you're having some trouble with this position for your knees, not a problem. We can just do one leg at a time. You bring one knee up to your chest, get your hands, put them on the outer part of that knee and pull across your body, aim it towards your opposite shoulder and you'll feel that same stretch in through the outer part of your hip. Again, this is an awesome, cool down exercise after a hike or a long walk. Feel that nice stretch in through your glute, in through the outer part of your hip, and relax. Okay, we have lumbar rotation stretch. So you're gonna be laying on your back, your knees bent up to a comfortable position here. And the exercise is you're gonna keep your feet together, keep your knees together, and you're just gonna drop one, your set of knees down towards the floor. Important point is to make sure that your shoulders are in contact with the floor throughout. They're not coming up off of the floor and coming back up. Go in the opposite direction. Get that nice stretch in through the lower part of your back and back up. This is a great, great exercise. Especially if you've been in a standing position most of your day, kind of helps loosen up the back gets it ready for bed. Now, if you're having some trouble getting down onto that floor, what you could do is sit up. You can either be sitting on the floor or sitting in a chair. Nice, good posture. And you're gonna use your hands to twist one direction, hold that position, feel that stretch in through your back and come back to the middle, making sure that your hips are coming forward. Also make sure that you're breathing. I caught myself holding my breath here. So make sure that you breathe throughout. One more time and twist, use your hands, get a nice good twist, stretch through your lower back as far as you feel comfortable, back to the middle. All right, we have the butterfly stretch. It's a pretty common stretch, probably did it when you were in grade school. You're gonna have your feet together, the bottom part of your foot together, and then you're gonna to try to bring that foot back up towards your buttock. Then you're gonna to try to bring your knees down towards the floor and you can use your elbows too to kind of help press them down until you feel a nice stretch in through the inner part of your knees. 
and hold that position for five to 10 seconds. This is a great stretch. I'm really tight in this position. And press down. Now, if you're having some trouble with this amount of knee flexion, what you can do is just straighten your knees out, bring your feet out in front of you a little bit more until you feel it is very comfortable for you. Then, same motion, you're gonna bring your knees down. You can lean, use, lean forward onto your knees. Use your elbows to press your knees into the ground. Get that good stretch in through the inner part of your hips. And back up. One more time, making sure that you breathe throughout. And back up. Now, if you're unable to sit down onto the floor or you're having trouble with the knee flexion, totally fine. We just stand back up. You're gonna have your feet spread apart. Nice wide stance. You're gonna pick a side. I'm gonna go to the right first, my right. You're gonna get into that kind of side lunge position, making sure that your opposite leg is nice and straight and you'll feel that stretch on the inner part of your thigh, making sure that your hips are nice and forward. Again, making sure that you're breathing throughout. Switch to the other side. Get that nice stretch in through here. Keep that leg straight. And back up. Motion is lotion for your joints, and these movements can help keep your joints mobile. Keep it up with our other joint movement videos.